Well, that was a nail biter, eh? Hey? But a win is a win, and Premier Danielle Smith now has a seat in Alberta's legislature, winning the most votes in the Brooks Medicine Hat by election Tuesday night. Not the win she was hoping for. With 54.5% of the votes, it's a similar number to her leadership win and to the leadership vote which prompted former Premier Jason Kenney to resign. This is a Premier running in a by-election You'd think she would at least do as well as an unknown candidate did in the 2019 uh, general election. In 2019's provincial election, the former UCP MLA for Brooks Medicine Hat, Michaela Frey, had 61% of the constituency support. In total, the by-election saw about 12,700 ballots counted. The NDP's candidate Gwendolyn Dirk garnered 26.7% of the vote, while Alberta party leader Barry Morishita had 16.5% of the vote. Most of Smith's votes came from rural areas. The NDP actually won the popular vote in the city of Madison Hat, and Barry Morishita, the former mayor of Brooks, did very well in Brooks. And make no mistake, from what you saw from the results today, we certainly have a fight ahead of us. Regardless, now, Smith is wasting no time penning a letter to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau Wednesday morning, calling for the elimination of the federal carbon tax and a temporary pause on federal fuel taxes. She said the UCP government is also announcing help as the cost of living increases. And that's why over the next several months, we're going to take unprecedented and substantial action to help Albertans and their families. I think a bigger question is whether those can be solved simply by having deep pockets. Just 34% of eligible voters turned out to cast a ballot, but Williams says it's not uncommon to have low voter turnout during a by-election. What remains to be seen, though, is how Smith and her party will do in the next vote, Alberta's provincial election. In Calgary, Taylor brought City News.